I'm sorry. Let me just see if I can zoom it. Press the wrong button. Nope. There we go. All right. And what I did was I went ahead and I went all, all the way to the top of the edge of the circle on the on, on one edge. And then on the other side, you're going to do that on this side right here. Okay. And then you can pick it up and adjust. I just want to show you what it looks like doing it from this from here. Okay. Make sure. Um, remember that time, my last video I said about that, um, that back end and can't believe I don't, I took it out from the back of that, that cold in back of the um, stamp set. It helps a lot not to stick on that. But um, you can move it around and make some adjustment. And that's what I did here. So this is what it's going to look like. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to take the, um, the part of the face and I'm going to put it on top of the two petals where they both connect the pointy. I'm going to go half in and half out of the paper and I'll show you what it looks like. Oops. Okay. I'm using uh, reposition or tape just in case if I have to do this again and I don't want it to cut more material so that's why it's not sticking that well. But this is what it looks like right now. Okay. Now to get the antenna um, to, uh, to adhesive to the back of the face, um, I'm using red line and tape, so I'm going to cut a little piece of that. It's, um, it holds really good. It's very, very, very strong adhesive. And I'm going to put it right on next to the body of that 1 and 3 8 circle because I made the antenna the long part of it, made it really long. Um, so I'm going to peel off that red liner if I can get off of that. Okay, here we go. And then um, on my swirl, and I'll show you what I'm talking about once I get this on, you're going to have the swirl on both sides. Don't face facing back from back, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So it's going to look like this. You see these little um, swirl here? Just make sure one is facing the other way and the other one's facing the other side. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Then I'm going to, um, what's my rhinestone to make some eyes? I'm going to use some crystal effect. This is a great wrapper rubber band and usually have a toothpick right ready for me so I can start. So I'm going to put a dot here. Okay. Okay. Two dots. Okay. Then I'm going to grab one of my rhinestones and I'm going to use yellow so it can pop up and I'm going to put one here and one here. Okay. Just press down a little bit. Crystal effect happened to um, actually um, dry very, very, very quick. Oops. Uh, making a mess. Okay. Just make sure when you put the adhesive, you have that back in. Remember that last video that I mentioned that the, the, the word from the back of the stamps that, that has that nice coating? Make sure you have that on because right now I didn't have, I don't have one right now in front of me. So everything is sticking. So what I'm going to do is why this is drying out because now I finished my bumping bee. This is what it looks like right here. Cute. Okay, because I'm going to pop it up. All right, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to stamp my words. I'm going to use another stamp set, and this one is called Flight of Butterfly. I happen to like this one of the stamps that says one person can uh, make a such a different, and that person is you. And that's so cute. So I'm going to use the Soft Sway as my ink. Okay. And I'm going to stamp that towards this direction because I'm going to make room for the um, for the bumblebee and and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about okay so I'm, I'm, my, I'm making it not in the middle like off center towards my right then I'm going to use this um, cutout image from the birdie die cut um, that Stampin' Up! sells and I usually have some of these stuff just to mask if I like just using as like pretend it's like the sun so what I'm going to do is a little mask and so I'm using Apica Appeared and 
I'm going to do a little sponge in right there and I'll show you what this is going to look like. Okay, so it's going to look like, God, everything is sticking. All right, this is what it's going to look like. You see, it looks cute, right? So I never get rid of it. Every time I punch something now I'm always keeping it because I always like to come back to it and do some little masking all right now for my ribbon what I'm going to you I'm using this 316 hand punch and I'm going to make two punches right and I'm going to try to do this in the middle sorry right here one here oops and one here okay so I went ahead and I fold this up and I cut it to an angle so like that I can get this little pointy part right here so it can be easy to insert that into the hole so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from that the back of it now this might take time so um, let me see if I can try to do this as quick Okay, because so this is a polka dot I wanted to be able to show. Then I'm going to insert it into the other side. So it's going to look like this. Okay. Now what, I do, what I'm going to do is I want it to come right back out. I've got to adjust it a little bit. Then I'm going to flip it over. So if I do it this way, so I'm going to make a little twist because when I inserted the outside, I want that polka dot to show. So I'm going to insert and come out through here and then do the same. I'll show you what that looked like. Oops, I'm probably off the camera because I have to get a good close up. Okay. I'm doing this really fast. This might be a little sloppy, but when you have time in your hand and you're not doing this in the camera, it'll come out even prettier. But this is what it looks like. So what I did is I, I started from the back, took them out, crisscrossed from the back and came out from the other side. And this is how I was able to. Okay, so now I'm going to mount this to my base. Okay, then I'm going to use, and this is not sticking of course, because I'm using reposition just in case that if I don't make it that 10 minutes, I'm going to have to start all over again. And I hate cutting, so I'm hoping that I don't go over my 10 minutes. All right, so I'm going to use some pot dot. And I'm not, I'm just going to use one for now, so for time's sake, but you can use, you know, use more than that so you can have everything pop up. But I just want to see what it looks, you know, so you can see what this looks like. Okay, so you're going to use um, the pot that to bring up the bumblebee and you got your finished card right here. This is how it goes. If you have any questions, I hope you enjoyed it. And this is, uh, besides that, you could do more with the bumblebee. You could make a, a daisy. Uh, you could do a lot. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you. Bye.